friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Now today, in today's video, we have great expectations and poor results. Um, let me turn on my light, sorry. Great expectations and poor results. What to do if you hate the wig you bought? Now we've all been in that situation, but before we get there, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. By doing so, you're helping me get this channel to grow and reach a thousand subscribers. Now, on to our video of great expectations and poor results. Now, today I am wearing the Suzanne by the Alexander Collection of Renee of Paris. This is the Suzanne in creamy toffee. There it is right there. Creamy toffee. Rooted. Creamy toffee rooted. And you can see the light brown roots in this. Now, I had put this wig away. I would put it in a box and I hadn't thought about it for quite some time and I got it out and I put it back on. And you know what? I love it. It is the cutest thing. This is the cutest little wig ever. And if you turn, when I turn around, you can see how pretty the back is. The back is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I really love it. It parts to the side, and you've got one side longer than the other. It's kind of an asymmetric little um, wig, but it is just beautifully done. It really is cute. I really like it now, and I'm going to hang it back up and take it out of storage. But... What are your options if you buy a wig and when you get it and take it out of the box, it's not what you expected at all. You just don't like it. Well, there's a number of rules that you should go by so that you can make a right choice. The first rule is read all of the policy before you buy it. Read all the policy before you buy it because if you don't, you're liable to end up not being able to return the wig or you just can't get all of the money back because sometimes they don't give you all the money back and that's not a good thing. So the first rule, read everything. Make sure you know what the return policy is. Number two rule, always keep the tag on the wig. Make sure that this little tag that comes with it, usually has a string or a cord, make sure that that is attached and you don't cut it unless you've made up your decision, made up your mind that you're gonna keep it. So keep the tag on and keep the box intact. Make sure that the box it comes just and is intact just the way it came and you might want to take a picture of how it looks before you take it out of the box just to make sure that you get it back in the right way because that can make a difference in whether or not they're going to um, accept your wig back. Now I'm going to try a different wig so I've decided to keep this little one and um, so it's going to get a hook and it's going to get hung up or put on a wig head. I think I'll probably hang it up for now. So I've got it like here. I really decided I like the Suzanne by Renee of Paris in Creamy Toffee. So this one is a keeper and I'm going to put it in that space over there so I know I'm gonna keep it. This is the next one. The next one is the Resolve by uh, Eva Gabor in Vanilla Mist. Now, I did not like the color on this particular wig. I did not like the Vanilla Mist color, but I'm gonna put it on and fix it for you. I just, it looks so ladyish to me. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe I just should just go with it. I don't know. But it's a gray, it, I don't know. It looks more gray than it does vanilla to me. Um, but I like the wig itself. I thought the wig itself looked cute and was pretty. You can see how it flips up in the back. It's really cute. Comes down pretty long. I like that. 
It comes back over the ear. That's cute. I really like it, except that I'm not real pleased with that color. So this is the reason why I put the Resolve away. I just didn't decide, I just didn't think I wanted to wear it. But anyways, we go on. We were on rule number um, three. Rule number three, give it some time. Give it some time. You usually, they usually give you like 30 days or so to return it anyway. So take a day or two and wear it around the house with the tag connected and see what you think. Um, just don't take it out of the box and say, mm, I hate it and put it back in the box. Take some time with it. Wear it around a little bit and Wear it with a wig cap and put the tag, keep the tag on it just so that you can return it. And just give it a little bit of time. Play with it a little bit. Comb it from one side to the other side. Um, just think about it a little bit. And don't just be so quick to make a decision that you hate the wig just because it's in the box. Just because you don't like the way it looked in the box. Okay, so I'm going to go on to the next wig. This was the Resolve by Eva Gabor in Vanilla Mist. I'm going to put this one back in the box because I really don't like the color. So I'm going to put it in that area. The next one that I got out of my storage box is the Strength Wig by Eva Gabor in Light Red. Now I love reds, so the color was perfectly fine with me. The color was great. I just, for some reason, I don't know why, I don't remember. I wasn't liking this wig too much. Let's figure out why. <laughs> what was it about this little wig, the strength, that I did not like? Okay. Well, there's one reason. Maybe it had an alfalfa I couldn't deal with. I don't know. <laughs> Let's turn around and look at the back. Let's look at the back of it. Well, now look at that. That is a pretty little wig. It really is a pretty little wig. It comes down nicely in the back. The profile is fine. It's cute. I don't know why I didn't like it comes down pretty long in the back. I really don't know why I didn't like the strength before. I really love the color. The color is fine. It's the Eva Gabor light red. But I had it in storage because I wasn't really liking it that much. So this one I think I'm going to keep out. Because it is a red wig and I do love those red wigs. And it's nice and cool for summer. This time of summer it'll come in handy. Rule number four, you can, can you modify the wigs? Can you do like I do and cut bangs in it? You know, it might have, you know, something that goes all the way back or all the way to the side swept, and it might have six inches of bangs. Can you cut that down to fit your two and a half, three inch, three and a half inch, whatever your forehead is? Can you modify it? Can you cut it shorter? Can you make it a shorter wig than um, than it is. Can you make it smaller? Can you adjust the, the fit? Does the fit not, not do well on you? For some reason, my 21 and a quarter inch head seems to fit most average size wigs. It's actually a petite size, but the petites are too tight on my head. I don't like wearing petites. I like wearing the average. They're much more comfortable. So I don't have any problem with them falling off. But, you know, maybe that was an issue with it. Maybe you felt it was too large and you couldn't, you couldn't get it. Why don't you try it? Try and adjust it again. Can you fix the problem? Can you fix the problem with the wig? Obviously, if you hate the color, like I didn't like the color with the Resolve, then there's not much you can do about that unless I get some of those spray wig colors and go at it with that. Maybe I would. But 
might be a good experiment to try. But number four is see if you can modify it. Number five rule is can you resell it? Could you resell it on eBay, eBay or another Wix site or just do like I do, put it away for a while. I have a box of wigs that I sometimes don't wear for a while. And then every once in a while I'll take them out and I'll look through them again and I'll see one that I really, I don't know why I didn't like this one. Like I really like this little strength wig. I think it's adorable. It comes down longer than I, than I realized. It's plenty long enough and it's cool this time of year and it's red. What's not to like? So anyways, that's rule number five. Can you resell it? at a later date. All right, I'm going on to the next wig. This was the Resolve, I mean the Strength, and I have decided that I'm going to keep this particular wig. I'm gonna put it over here with the Suzanne. The next one that I had pulled out of the box is the Abbey. I put the Abbey away. I have a couple of Abbeys, and I put it away because I don't know. I don't know why. Let's put her on and let's take another look at her. This one is in 1488A, which I think is their uh, sun-kissed color. So this is a really, really short wig. Uh, let me get it right here. And it just kind of goes across at the top. And it comes down and pretty much covers the ears. Let's take a look at it in the back and see what we think. The back comes down pretty nice. I really like it. There's nothing wrong with this one. It's a bit on the short side. But I think with a little bit of teasing up, pumping up, I think there's plenty of hair here for me. So I think it's cute. I like the Abbey. So this is one that I'm probably going to keep. And so I'm going to put that tag in there, put her in the pile with the keepers. And let's go on to the next one, which is the Casey. Now this is the one I put away. This is 1426A or medium ash blonde with gold blonde highlights. Medium ash blonde with gold blonde highlights, 1426A. So I don't know what the problem with the Casey was. Maybe it was just too short, I don't know. I don't like it when they're really, really, really short. That could be the problem right there. There we go. Now let's turn around and take a look at the back and see what we think. She comes down nicely, pretty long. This is the Casey. Really a short boy cut. A really, really short boy cut. And that's probably what I didn't like about it because it was just a little bit too short. But it's great for summer. It is a great cut for summer. So anyways, it's just a little bit on the short side for me. I'm not liking it because it was a little too short, so I'm going to put it with the Resolve. That's my decision for now. I might take it out later. The next one is a Renee of Paris, the Audrey. The Audrey and Vanilla Bean. Vanilla Bean. Let's put the Audrey on. Let's see what I didn't like about this one. The color is beautiful. I love that vanilla bean. I don't think I had a problem with the color. This, I don't remember. Let's see. Let's see what we think about the Audrey. <laughs> Got lots of hair, I'll say that. It has lots of hair. It's got bangs. 
that come down really cute. I like a side part with some bangs. And this seems to have all that. Oh, I don't like that. How about that? In the back, it's gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. It's gorgeous in the back. I think I just needed to rework the bangs just a tad. I think I had a problem cutting them, and I think I may have just given up on them. They weren't just exactly the way I like it, but I think I can fix that. And I really like this particular hairstyle. It's the Audrey. And it's by Renee of Paris and Vanilla Bean. Vanilla Bean. Really cute, cute hairstyle. And I think I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep it out because I think this is a good hairstyle. Now let's go back to our list. And I think I had another tip or two. Um, if you decide to just return it. If you decide that you just don't like this wig, you hate it, you've taken some time, you've given it a day or two, and you just don't like it and you want to return it. So be sure that you have taken a picture of what it looked like in the box because that's real important. They want you to return that wig just exactly the way they sent it to you, how it was packed. So be sure that you get everything just just right. And the last one, number seven, is get in touch with the company that you bought it from and communicate your problem with it. Was the color wrong? Was the fit wrong? Was the hairstyle too short, too long? Did the fit not, wasn't right? Let them know what the problem was and they usually will work with you. Um, I don't return wigs. I have never returned a wig. I, I either keep it and put it in my storage box, or I sell it on this channel, or eBay, and um, or I donate it. I like to donate it to Goodwill because people love those wigs, and there are lots of people who can't afford an expensive wig, but if they go into Goodwill and they see a box of wigs, they're gonna buy that whole box of wigs because their hair is thin, and they're going to wear the ones that they can wear, and they're going to resell the other ones. And God bless them. I hope they make some money because they need it. Or I will give it to a cancer center. That's another thing that you can do. You can give it to a cancer center. I'm really liking this little one. After all, I finally got it to where I really like it. I think I can fix it. Uh, this is the Audrey and Vanilla Bean. Really, really liking this cute little one. Now I want to talk to you about something that, something else. Jesus loves you so much. He loves you so much. He is crazy about you. He is interested in every single thing that you are interested in. He loves you. He wants you in heaven with him. And the Bible says, if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, meaning Jesus, and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. For with your heart you believe and are justified, and with your mouth you confess and are saved. So believe in Jesus today. Believe in Jesus today, because Jesus is Lord. And I wore my Jesus is Lord t-shirt today, so I'll stand up so you can see it. Jesus is Lord. When you confess that with your mouth, that's how you are saved, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. It's belief and confession. So, tomorrow's video is going to be on black and white. I'm going to show you my darkest wigs, and the white wigs that I have. So we're going to be doing black and white wigs tomorrow. Um, several wigs, two opposite polar <laughs> blacks and whites, blacks and whites, so, um, or the ones that are the darkest, the darkest ones I have. 
So that's my story for today. I'm loving this little um, Audrey. I'm loving this little Audrey. The one I pulled out of my storage box. I'm thinking it's really, really cute. And I'm going to keep this one out. Now that's my story for today. And I will see you tomorrow. And don't forget to subscribe. Like, subscribe, and comment below. I'll see you tomorrow.